day. Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Are you kidding me? Hang on, let me lower the music real quick. There you go. But they just released. This was recently released, by the way. I think it came out about four or five days ago. A anime visual novel game based in North Korea. It doesn't say North Korea. Oh, wait a minute. My first and only trial. Trial to North Korea. Okay, it does say North Korea, but it just it says it in a proper way. Democratic People's Republic of Korea, because that is the proper way of uh, saying the country. But <laughs> oh my goodness, I bought it for only $9.99 on Steam. Again, it just released. It's a new game. So you know what? Hey, couldn't hurt. And uh, today's Anime Wednesdays, Weed Wednesdays, however you want to call it. So good day to uh, make this video. Uh, yesterday I did not upload a video, I just went straight to sleep, I was really tired, so, yeah, I'll just do that video another day, actually. It was supposed to be FIFA, but I didn't do it, so you know what, screw it. Uh, FIFA will be next week. Tomorrow will be Texas versus Russia, actually, which will be interesting and fun. And then Friday I've got either Serbian Empire World Annexation to continue, who knows. Might make a straw poll vote for you guys on what let's play you guys want to see on Friday because I have no idea what I want to do on Friday. On stream, it'll definitely be World Annexation or uh, First Terran Empire. Alright, anyways, uh, start a continuous settings, Escape. I like it how they put Escape on there, like, you know, a lot of North Koreans are trying to flee their country from famine, poverty, and, you know, concentration camps, you know. <laughs> so, Escape is the perfect choice to put on there. <laughs> oh, lovely. Alright, so, start what is your name oh jeez my name here we go again with this bullshit I did it with Lucy Sunrider Academy you don't you didn't have to do it you were just Kato Shields what is your name um guys ah oh, dang it. I really want to put Donald Trump on there what is your name let's put Donald Trump here let's do that <laughs> all right that is my name Donald Trump it's taking a long time, but it's finally going to happen. I'm finally on a plane from Beijing to Pyongyang. Holy snaps. Let me put the, uh, let me just lower, or I want to hear the music a bit. There we go. That'll do. I'll be staying this week with a couple pen pals in the Korean army. That is scary. Oh, no. I've been waiting or writing them while on duty in Afghanistan. So I guess I'm a U.S. Uh, soldier probably in the Marines or Army served the serving in Afghanistan or something like that I think the game takes place in the year 2020 or 2022 I don't remember they seem interested in meeting me so they can so they asked me to come over on my next leave it didn't look like it was going to happen though really a random stranger from Afghanistan really wanted to see me from all the North Korea or Democratic People's Republic of Korea how strange. I'm not sure why, but the airport wouldn't let me fly directly to Pyongyang. Uh, that is actually true. They don't, uh, I don't think, especially uh, American or Western tourists can't directly go all the way to Pyongyang. I'm not sure how it is, but uh, you have to go through Beijing and then you can go through uh, to Pyongyang. Anyway, something about no direct flights and having to fly to China or Russia first. Uh, it states it right there. You can, you have to go to China or Russia and then you could go take uh, Air Korea which is what the airline is called for uh, North Korea I only just barely learned Korean in time for this then I had to stumble through Chinese to get there what but we're about to touch down at Pyongyang Sunan International Airport and all these places are real live locations by the way all these locations are basically just like real life so the only difference is it's an anime game basically Oh Jesus! Uh, I know some Japanese symbols, but I uh, I don't I won't study Korean at all. Uh, I'm good with Japanese. I I can't do Korean. I think he said we're about to descend. Once we get off, I'm wa I'm waiting for my bags at the claim center. Yes, Donald Trump is at, was at Afghanistan, and now he's gonna be headed to the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the Hermit Kingdom. What the heck? I was a bit late since I had to use the bathroom, so it looked like they've already started unloading. Dot, dot, dot. They've stopped the baggage claim carriage. 
My bags aren't there. Oh man, this is FUBAR. Don't tell me they lost my luggage. I better go find a customer service before my buddies get here. Really? Customer service in North Korea? Turning around, I walk straight into someone. This is North Korea still, right? Hey, why are you right behind me? Oh, uh, Donald Trump asked me. Okay, hey, why are you right behind me? I gotta speak like Donald Trump, though. I've run right into what appears to be a member of the Korean military. Full suit and everything. What's more, she's hot. Damn, of course Donald Trump is like this. You know, Donald Trump's a molester and everything. <laughs> if you go for the chick in uniform thing. Mr. Donald Trump, I presume. <laughs> what a proper name, guys. Oh, I'm so glad I went with Donald Trump instead of my own name. All right. Her English is pretty good. A bit broken, but better than most kids I met in Afghanistan. What the heck was I doing in Afghanistan? So I'm, I'm a US soldier, basically. How do you know my name? Yes, I will be speaking like Donald Trump, I guess. Why not? Except for narrations. I use my own voice, but you know, when Donald Trump speaks, it's his voice. I gotta get Donald Trump to voice over for me. That's what I gotta do, guys. Tweet this out. Uh, I don't know. Facebook it. Get Donald Trump to voice over this game <laughs> for me. We were expecting your arrival. I finally noticed that she's not alone. Another cute girl in the military, Regil Regalia. It's next to her, Regilia. But how? I only told my buddies Jung and Uji that I was showing up. That would be us. Wait, I thought. It's not. I just mean. Eric, Jung, and Uji. What guys' names? <laughs> not always. Like some names in your country, they can be applied to both genders. The tall girl smiled. Oh, like Francis and Francis. I think I get it. W wait a second. You didn't think Donald Trump was a girl's name, did you? <laughs> I'm doing the fingers thing. The fingers things. Like, you know how Donald Trump uses his hands? I don't know why every president does that, but you know, they use hand motion. I'm doing the same thing for some reason. I don't know why. There's no face cam, but I'm doing it. Ofa Kushu Nota. Who would name a guru Donald Trump? But you. You said it was fine if I stayed with you while I was here. Hope that's how Donald... I can, you know... Eh. I hope that's how Donald Trump sounds. You know, I can't make the real voice. You know, I'm not into that. But, you know, I'm trying my best here, you guys. Absolutely, we received a special permission to have you stay in our personal barracks. Whoa. Well, we might have a hold up. It looks like the airline lost my luggage. So I need to check with the service desk about that. No need to worry. We have security luggage. That's great, uh... Where is it? It has been sent to our political bureau's security checkpoint. Fine, fine. What? They must make sure you have no illegal contraband on you. Does Donald Trump have any of that? Mm, I wonder. <clears throat> really? Two girls in the Korean military? I don't get it. Oh, wait, hang on guys. I gotta pause the game real quick. Somebody's here. We're knocking on my door. Be right back. Oh, I have my mic on mute. Alright, I am back with my brother that came by. He's here now. Anyways, uh, who would interrupt Donald Trump in his visit to the Democratic People's Republic of Korea? What? Alright, anyways, anything will be turned to our country and glorious leader will be confiscated. I guess it's still Kim Jong-un in power, I'm not sure. Again, it's, you know, a little into the future, five, six years. Well, that doesn't seem to be any way to treat a friend. I almost forgot. <laughs> voiceover. If you desire friendship, then do this. You can speak Korean, right? Well, I have been studying a little. I guess have a handle on it. I guess have a handle on it? What? Donald Trump studying Korean? How odd. I've even got this manual to help me out. I reach into my carry-on pull out my transition or translation guide. Upon seeing it, Winji is it is Winji. Inji slaps it out of my hands. Whoa. Oh, what the hell did you do that for? You Daru bring a translation manual Ofa Ora Nor Morta Enemish <laughs> into Ora Wonderful Country. <laughs> oh, it's English. It's not English. It's English. A lot of, you know, that's how it is in a bunch of animes. Like, they try to, you know, do their best English accent in the animes. There's a bunch of them. But instead of it being English, 
It's English with a bunch of R's in there. I gotta say that again. You Daru bring a transgression man Opa Ora Nort Morta and a mish into Ora Wonderful Country. That's how it literally sounds in those animes when they try to speak English. It just it's basically English. Oh, that's funny. I'm really liking her. But it's a Korean translation manual. I'm sorry for Unji's Inji's outburst, but the manual depicts the language of the territory occupied by Western imperialists. Hey, be careful what you you know tell you say to us. Imperialists. I didn't think the British ever invaded Korea. I thought it was all just one big Korea. I'm so glad you understand the situation. There is only one true Korea. <laughs> Regardless, I think I'd like for you to work with Inji. She'll help you get better with Korean and you'll help her with English. Da, da, da. She doesn't appear happy at that arrangement. She'll get used to it. I read in my old translation manual that it's polite to bow to new co workers. I turn to Inji and bow. Thanks for helping me with Korean. Why are you thank me? Hi, my own redo dish. <laughs> Help me better. <laughs> and you can't say English. It's English. I'm my own redo dish. Help me better English. It's not right. I do dish for you. Stupida. Stupida. What? Either way, I appreciate it. Oh, I'm already enjoying this game, guys. Uh, I'm already loving it. Oh, jeez. Why are you? I no help you, you yeto. Yet, I no help you, you yeto. Jeez. Now, Angie, you were so excited about a friend coming to visit from Afghanistan. What? There's no need to be so rude to him. <laughs> I hope you he good English teacher. There you go. <laughs> it's time we went back to our barracks. You should be thankful. The top advisor on tours recommend you stay with your guides inside of a hotel. <clears throat> you did bring a lot of foreign cash, though, as we suggested. Yes, basically, Koreans love, or what is it? They accept a lot of dollars and even euros over there as well. Mostly dollars. They, I guess they love dollars more than uh, their own currency over there. <laughs> I did, though I'm not quite sure I understand why. Couldn't I just use my credit card? It would be quicker than going to exchange all of these bills for Korean won. Plus, I feel funny having all these coins on me. Most everything you need has already been paid for in advance. However, the shops you'll visit will want hard currency and they prefer foreign bills to the one. Yeah, as I said, hey, I know my stuff with Korea since I've been watching a lot of Korean documentaries or North Korean documentaries and uh, especially to be exact, uh, Vice News. I remember watching a lot of Vice documentaries on the Hermit Kingdom of North Korea. You guys can watch that as well. Uh, there's a few Vice documentaries where uh, they go to North Korea and they document everything basically how the country is over there and it is very interesting and I love the Vice documentaries in North Korea so you guys can check it out actually and it's about 30-40 minutes long so hey that'll take up your whole day or not your whole day but you know eat something and just watch a documentary in real life North Korea <clears throat> anywho uh Okay, so I'll be playing for things in my own currency then. But yeah, they do like uh, foreign currencies more than the Korean won over there, basically. Especially dollars. Mostly dollars. And also some euros and yen here and there. You know recent... Oh, <laughs> that's not Donald Trump. I fucked it up already. Dang it. Ah, Inji, no. You know recent... It's simple. No one Dora Onri. <laughs> I can't get over this, dude. It's just so hilarious. Uh, makes me crack up every single time she speaks. Dora Onri. Inji's pretty cute when she's grumpy. Her cheeks get all puffed up. Too bad it's a visual novel, you know. Or, I mean, it is a visual novel, but no voice actors. I really wanted a voice actor for the, or voice, voiceovers for this game, definitely. You know, I wanted to hear that English. <laughs> I do feel a bit bad for her, though. Ugh. Um, Inji, would you prefer I just speak Korean? Why are you? My English no good for you? <laughs> for you. Jeez. Maybe it's a bit easier for now, though. I guess I have to speak Korean from here on out. Oh. We should take a picture together before we leave the airport. I get my phone out and take a picture of all of us. What? What did you just do? Wait. 
I want to see the picture. How does Donald Trump look like? Is it actual Donald Trump? I wonder. I just took your picture. That's all. Perv. No, get rid of it. Now. But you look so durable. See? Stop it. I'm not cute. Get rid of that photo now. I don't understand. It's just a picture. I'm sorry, but let me explain. I'm In Korea, we do not allow photos from military to be taken without permission unless it's at a national event in which it cannot be held. I must ask you to please delete the photograph. Ugh. Can't I keep it? It was a really good shot. MG looks adorable. Being the only one so pouty. I showed the photo to Zhuang. Zhang. Zhuang. Uh, it's Zhuang. Who giggles just little. He has a point. It's a pretty good photo. Or a cute photo. Before I can say anything else, NG stomps over and swipes my phone. Oh man, that's the iPhone. Uh, let's see. How many years or see iPhone 8 coming out 2017 nine maybe 8s 9 10 jeez let's just say around uh, iPhone 10 iPhone 11 they snatch my iPhone 10 or 11 let's go with iPhone 10 right now <laughs> it's in the future anyway sort of I guess Joanne forgot we were supposed to confiscate this anyway I thought she couldn't speak good English what happened but that's my new brand brand new phone no worries you get it back at the end of your stay. I will put it in to call the headquarters to get you a suitable replacement. One that will work on our network. I'm pretty sure I saw four bars on my phone. It's best to not argue with it. With her about this one? Oh, I guess it's not worth it. Yes, very true. Please follow us to the current. We will take you to our place. Thank goodness. I want to get the heck out of the airport now. Jeez. Our super short, we have finished checking your luggage. We'll be able to relax. Oh. Oh, we're in a, a, a luxury car. Let me to a large, boxy automobile. A 1980s Soviet car. Still? They're still driving these 1980s Soviet cars, these 60 cars, man. With some modifications to the interior, we sit back. Or we sit in the back, and I can't see anything outside, and I can't see in the front of the vehicle either. What? It's kind of dark in here. I was hoping to see some of the city as we drove. They won't let Donald Trump see that. They can't let Donald Trump see North Korea. I'm afraid that since we're taking you to our personal barracks, we can't let you see the route. It's forbidden by illustrious leader that tourists do not know the way from the airport to military locations. Then why did you let me stay in your personal barracks? I know. Stop questioning. They told us to take you stay with us, and we are doing so. Be grateful. Our place is better than any local hotel. I, I am grateful. Thank you for taking me in. I told you. Stop thanking me. It's not like we did it for you or anything. We're just following orders. I swear, I think she blushed saying that. I think someone has a little crush on you, Donald Trump. <laughs> Mr. Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump's like 70 years old. He's basically, Donald Trump is still in office basically by then. Since, you know, it's like 2020, 2022 or something like that. Donald Trump is basically still in office. That's if he gets reelected again. But still, still the 45th president of the United States. I'm not sure. I get what you just said. Donald Trump also served in Afghanistan for some reason. I don't know. He just got out of there. Maybe I'm not saying it right. Stop that. Let's just listen to the radio. She flicks the dial on a very old looking car radio. The first sound I hear is what I can only guess is a Korean guy singing some awful cover. Don't stop me now. Cause I'm having a good time. Don't stop me now. What does that remind me of? This is some song. It is the latest hit. The latest? Yes. We've heard that. It's very popular. Best song. 2016. The singer should do a tour here. Wait a minute. I think I heard the song. Did I hear the song somewhere? I don't remember. I think that might be hard for Freddy. Freddy? The original singer of this song. <laughs> the original singer of the song. This was a huge hit in 1978. I'm certain you are wrong. Of course, they are basically, you know, stuck in time, you know. They're, they're just basically, you know, that's how, you know, North Koreans are basically, you know. They're living in the past, you know. They're stuck in their own time. 1960s, basically. Even though they have, you know, some technologies that are in the 21st century, but most of it still 20th century. Heck, they don't even believe that, you know, people have actually landed on the moon, basically. They don't even know that. And, you know, the U.S. already did. We have it on a good theory that this song was written by a glorious leader himself. <laughs> what a bunch. Insist that the song is quite old. Gently tell her the song is... Wait, what? Gently or insist? I'll just go gently, you know? Just caress, you know, almost like a... Harassing a cat. Let's just do that, you know. <laughs> I don't even know what that meant. 
I'm sorry, but you weren't given accurate information. If you guys have, haven't confiscated my MP3 player, I can play you the track and show you on there. When I get my, my luggage back at this, that is. Oh, the timer's done. What? That was it? Silence falls. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, good. We're almost there. The car is slowing down, turning into what I assume is their personal barracks. I can only guess, though, since I can't see outside the car. The silence we've sent. The radio is broken. It's broken by a sharp noise. It appears Juang is using more Freddie Mercury. Ah, Freddie Mercury for her ringtone. Excuse me, I need to take this call. Uh-oh. She turns from us and jabbers away on her phone. I figured maybe I should speak to Angie. So if I'm staying here, I'm guessing you guys must have extra rooms. Being a military base, I wouldn't think you have a lot of extra space. Hell, they were just barely phasing out those Quonset huts when I was going through boot camp. Oh, okay. So, serving. Okay. Don't stick me in a broom closet or something, alright? I'm the president, okay? Don't be so ridiculous, Donald Trump. You won't be in a closet. Are all soldiers in America so dumb? Ah, no wonder glorious leaders, glorious leaders says it will be conquering you soon. <laughs> Did you just imply your country's planning on attacking my country? I give her a shocked look. I never heard of Koreans harboring hostile attitudes. Weren't we allies? At some point, all must be Korea. It is part of a new initiative from our most high and honorable champion. Anyways, it is no concern to you. Stop asking such silly things we want you to enjoy your stay here. You'll see your sleeping quarters soon enough. Great, I can't wait. I'll leave it to you, Inji. I hate I hear Juan getting off the phone just in time. It's getting pretty awkward in here. Good news. Inspection of your luggage is complete. They found very little to remove, so there should be little missing. Well, that's good news. Well, I'll get my belongings when I get back home. Da da da. Juan. Hey, I know you're probably starving, right? Inji. What are you planning to make for dinner? Or what are you planning to make for dinner? I'm making dinner? I thought we were just taking him to the mess hall. How can you be so thoughtless? He said, guess we should make a proper meal for him. Yes, of the president. It's okay. I don't mind hitting up the Korean chow hall. I mean, I'm fine with whatever you two want to do. You're poking the fun at me, aren't you? Inji appears angry, well, even, well, even more angry than she had been. You don't think I can do it? You think my English is terrible and I can't even cook? That's not what I was said. I'll show you one home cooked meal coming up. Well, I appreciate it. I'll make you eat your words and some kimchi. I always wanted to try kimchi. That is so sweet of you, Angie. You must really like Donald Trump. You haven't cooked anything in me in many months. I want to get out of this car now. Let's keep, keep going. Oh, I just skipped that. Dang it. You haven't cooked anything in many months. What? Oh. Now that since you burned the silver noodles. I guess I went back. You always bring that up. Stop embarrassing me. I'm just glad you are cooking again. Looks like Donald Trump is already having a good influence on you. Before Angie can respond, there's a knock on the door. Juang opens it. The driver's standing there. We have arrived. Please show the capitalist to his quarters. Whoa, they gotta say it like that. Please show the capitalist pig to, her, to his quarters. Whoa. Thank you. Well, we're here. Let's hit. I'm flattered. I'll take that as a compliment. If any North Koreans, you know, if I ever do go to North Korea, you know, and they say, all right, the capitalist is here. Wow, I'll take that as a compliment. I flattered, you know, hey, I'm flattered. <laughs> Alright, we're heading in. Alright, here we are. But, this is where I'll actually stop this, <laughs> uh, uh, this game. Stay, stay, Democratic People's Republic of Korea. First time, again, new visual novel game, and currently, so far, I'm enjoying it, and I'm having... A blast playing this game and laughing a lot just because of you know how funny it is basically and it's in North Korea what more do you want two hot chicks what the heck and I am Donald Trump I just wish you know there were voiceovers for the characters and heck I wish I have Donald Trump to voice over for me <laughs> but this is where I'll end stay stay part one and if you guys did enjoy it please leave a like and leave some suggestions or comments in the comment section below so i'm gonna save this right here what oh i see all right there we go and then i guess i can escape oh wow i gotta escape north korea all right i'm gonna escape north korea guys subscribe like and i hope you guys enjoyed the first ever part of stay stay democratic people's republic of korea more to come next wednesday for anime wednesdays all right thanks for watching guys <laughs>